All right, I've waited long enough, but we have to talk about Sage Hortensia. This is absolutely crazy. This is definitely the best way to use Hortensia. Now, you don't necessarily need to have Byleth on her, but giving Hortensia S rank tomes, really just giving her A rank tomes, completely changes what she brings to your team. Most people just make her a staff bot, and you know sometimes she attacks with like L fire, L wind, L thunder, but L forget about all that because we're moving to the big league. <laughs> We're moving into the Thoron, Excalibur, Bolganone zone. Once you enter the Bolganone zone, you know it's for real. This this unit on Sage is pretty strong. Now, she still has big personality. She gets Spell Harmony, which, you know, sometimes situationally boosts her damage. But if you just fix her speed, she will double consistently with Heavy Tomes. And Excalibur is fantastic in endgame. Thoron, fantastic in endgame. Bolganon pretty good so all right so so what's the what's the big idea right uh first of all i think staff botting making her a staff bot is basically like clipping her wings unironically putting her on a flying class that has terrible damage output by comparison to sage will make her less relevant on your team and the only thing you gain while like by keeping her on her default class is flying plus staff and tome but the tome rank is only b so you don't have access to good damage really she generally deals like 20 to 50 percent of enemies hp as damage unless she's hitting like a tank in which case she deals like i don't know 60 to 80 if you're lucky with like an l fire plus three to l fire plus five with an engraving however just with a basic excalibur plus one which is very cheap to create she can just one round things easily Easily, so she's now a relevant damage dealer. And with Byleth, uh, you can put her on Byleth, you can put her on Corrin, you can put her on Celica, you can put her on Micaiah, you can put her on any of these. Like, all of these are interchangeable. It doesn't matter which one you want. So if you want her to be a Siege user, like you can pop Byleth and then attack at range. You could just have her on Thoron. She can super poke with Thoron. It's pretty huge. Uh, one thing I did actually get wrong in a previous video for her guide uh, I think I was saying to run Thoron on her on her default class, but Thoron is A rank and her default class is B rank home, so you have to use L Thunder. So that's a it's a minor mistake. I knew that. It's just that I forgot that Thoron at the time was A rank. But look at these tomes. These are good tomes. These are endgame tomes. L Thunder, L Fire, and what is it? L Thunder, L Fire, L Wind are decent, but these are so much better. Like Excalibur. Generally one rounds enemy flyers for the most part, unless they're insanely fast and you don't double them. But it, even if you don't one round them, it hits like a truck. So let's look at like the base damage from uh, Excalibur in this case. So 40 times two, even if we do not one round this guy, we're still hitting for 40 damage. So you got that, you got the Thoron. And the other thing too, is all of the staff stuff she does still matters. Like she can still heal, you know, an extra range. She can still warp people an extra range. So she can still be part of warp combos. She just has more damage now. She has better tools for dealing with situations. And she's not just demoted to a staff bot. Now, if you want to keep her on staff bot, I get it. Maybe you're used to it. But there's also no flyer weakness here. You have the damage scaling if there's other tome users nearby, which is not that hard to set up. So, for example, I could just chill out here. Heal a dude, like I could have used a staff there. And then I can get the tome damage. So here's like the, an example of the tome damage. So plus one damage for being next to another tome. Now with Siege Mage, it's easier to be next to other dudes. But on Sage, she has plus 10% more magic growth. And I believe her build is the same, but I'm pretty sure her magic stat goes up a little bit. So she has slightly higher damage and slightly higher growth rates, as well as access to better tomes. So you're looking at more damage from all of those factors plus the passive. And honestly, I think this is the best way to run Hortensia. Unlike Ivy, who the Sage, when I made her a Sage, I think it's like a trade-off. It's like a side grade. It's not an upgrade. You gain some things and you lose some things. With Hortensia, I think it is an upgrade. The only case where this isn't true is if you're doing a warp strat where you need the flying. And that's it. Alternatively though, she can be a forward rescue better on her base class so she has six move plus flying so she can move forward and then rescue someone if you want her to be like a forward rescue makaya 
So there's like warp, there's rewarp, and then there's diving in and then rescuing like a large group of allies. So that's another offensive strategy. If you're relying on forward rescue instead of warp, then yeah, flood the slept near rider is better. But honestly, after putting her on Sage, I don't regret it at all. And she's crazy. If you let her cook on Sage, <laughs> she's crazy good. 